Escucho. Ông Tôn Vũ Đạp Cả Mẫn Tỏ, các chấm đại ca nội tệ vị thị xã Mạn Cả, xã Mạn Cả đời thay nít. Ông chấm đại thừa xã Mạn Cả Mẫn Tỏ sắp đặt tập khí cam xã xây đại miền Hà Giang Niêm, pi thi si đại vật du bổn bồn rồi đập bổn bay. Làm chi xã Mạn Cả lục em hỏi là việc cam pi sát thành tập hiệp vật miền ao vật miền vị kỳ nâng bậc cô đại ông chấm đại có hành chơi nhà chỗ rùm được không cách chấm đại ca xã Mạn Cả ngày nít. สมกรุปลุกเทียนสำหรับสัปนาการทนี้กลางชีกัดสมควรเคยท่ากรุปเปียกีในเรื่องใดดิเมียนวัดเมียนหรือไล่โดยนุนชีเมียนวัดเมียนดูบรรทุกคุมครูนขังกรอมสาวสัปนาการนี้โดยโลกสนาสมเล็บบางสุดเมียนวัดเมียนโดยตอลปีบรรทุกสาวนาการที่ขัดเล็บบางสุดบอลลุกนุนชีบ้านประกอบดอลกลางชีรุ่ยหายสะใสได้ดังตรงดอลเสกให้การบรรจบในทางนี้คือเมียนฮาสเนียมปีทีซีดับยูผมบูนร้อยดับผมใบโลกหนึ่งเมตุวีปรึกษาบอลโลกเมียนวัดเมียนรุ่ยหายนกนงมันตุบสาวนาการนี้ดูทั้งไงดีได้เมียนดาวมันดังรับวิธีบำรงมือรูปแต่เมียนหาเสนียมปีทีซีซีพีใบรอยสมอากุลลุกเทียนว่าอากุลลุกแอมหอยไอ้ที่ระบบนี้อ่อนจำเรียสำราญเลยสำราญส้มมันระบบจุนจบจอดหนุนชี้ชี้มนสันอ่อนจำเรียบานตัวลิขัดสมเล็บบองซึ่งเจ้ารวมสำนาการได้พิตอลขนมมันตุบสำนาการนี้เราบอกจนจบจอดนุ่นชี้จุดทางไอจีมวยใครธนูชนะบีบอลดับพรำได้บรรบ้านมันเจ้าท้าได้ก่อนมีปัญหาสกปรกเพียบชื่อกบาชื่อจุดแก่มันอายกุยยูบ้านมันอายพยองอารมณ์บรรยูนึงดำไปมีระดับเพียบจะรวมสัมมาการในทางไอขังมกอเมียนประเสริฐเพียบรวมทอมแหลบบางสุดนั่งมีวัตถุมีได้ตัวขนมตบสัมมาการในทางไอตีมวยใครธนูชนะบีบอลดับพรำบ้านเคยกำหนดให้เป็นนักสกปรกเพียบจนจบจอดนุ่นเชี่ยและเพื่อหลังได้กรุเปิดประจำกาเป็นนักเพียบบาลไทยตอมสกปรกเพียบจนจบจอดในอวตารก้อจอดทั้งไงที่มุ่ยไข่ธนูชนะปีบอลดับพรำบ้านกับทั้งก้อนปีจะทันนักเพียบสกปรกเพียบหรือเปล่าลูกนุ่นเชี่ยในทั้งไงนี่ทางก้อนเบียนอากาศระบุลมกเป็นเพื่อจรณะหนังชื่อจังเก้ปีหลังกุยยูหนังบ้านพระดอลานุสัตถาสมัยอ่อนยิ้มได้อันหนึ่งยาไอ้ลูกนุ่นเชี่ยจูรุ่มตามการกิจกรรมกาสัมมาการปีบรรทุกขังกรอมสาสัมมาการนี่ไอเลมูลธานนี่หนึ่งโยงตามมาปัญญาในปิเทียนไปถึงมวยพรำในปิเทียนตีขนมอวตารก้อออกจากเนี่ยอ่านอนุญาตเอาโลกนุนชี้โจร่วมตามด้านกิจกรรมราคาสัตว์มังกรปีจมง่ายปีเหมือนตุกคมครูนมวยเถิดในกรอมซาสัตว์มังกรนี่ตามระยะประกอบสตูสําหรับจะเปิดสัตว์มังกรปีมวยไทยนี่ประกอบไอบกลึกไพรสตูช่วยประปอนเท่าตู้สําหรับจุดจอดนุนชี้ไอโจร่วมตามด้านกิจกรรมราคาสัตว์มังกรปีจมง่ายต้องอย่าเปิดในกิจกรรมราคาสัตว์มังกรสำหรับไทยนี่มุนหนึ่งมันโตดับตะไคร่กรรมสะใสได้มีราชนิยมปีทีซีได้ไปอยู่บนบนนอยดับบนบีให้หนึ่งมุนพระดาวิตกาจุนเตอสะปรีญะนงกาตั้งสมนูอ่องจิมเรียดมีบ่มนองสดับสารนาตัวมดระบาดเปียกีนีนี้ผสมบ่มมินเปียปอนตึงหนึ่งสมนาระบาดสะปรีญะอันตรายจิตในขนมไอกระซาอีใบรอยดับบนบนทละซามสุปมุ้ยตรองกระทาคันดับมุ้ยหนึ่งกระทาคันดับปีได้ปานสมัยอ่อนยิ้มเรียกก็หาสะใจบันเทมเปียปอนตันนังอ่างเฮ็ดในการประพฤติจมพูกรมกูดาวเจริญเลี้ยเป็นเกียรติเป็นน้ำมันตรีจับจงพูระบอกอ่างยิ้มเรียกสลัดตะบงบานชุนดมนังเพียกีนีนีรวยเฮ้ยตามระยะอีเมลการไปทางไอตีดับบุ๋มใบคายไปจิกาชนะปีปอนตับรัมท่าประสันเบอร์เพียกีมีบำนองชายตอบตันนังสำนาส้มตะบอสะเปรียอันตรายชีดขังเลือนี่เพียกีอาจเพื่อสารนาตัวหมดคลอยตอบแต่หนึ่งสำนาสมนิษในขนมสำนาการในไงตีมุ้ยไข่ธนูชนามปีบอลดับพรำไอเจี๊ยบทอมอ่างยิมเดียสมนักสนาดอสะเปรียญอันตรายชีดเลือกลางดอยสังเขปในสำนาสมนุษย์บักลุ้นอัมปีกาสมอยก็หาสะใสบันเทมนี่มันหนึ่งสดับในสารนาบักพิกีเปียปอนดอเตจิตอ่างยิมเดียสมดอยเป็นการจุนตือสะเปรียญรองอันตรายชีดในไม่บัญชีปีปัญหานี้บันเทมทำไมเพียกีบันอยู่ดังให้มันเชื่อมกันแต่ฉบับเลยตำนาส้มระบักลุ่นขอบคุณ
Mr. President, this is a a witness um, uh, who uh, we have proposed um, based on some additional information uh, from him uh, in his OCIJ uh, interviews. Um, while this is a witness who had a prior uh, DC CAM a statement, uh, his DC CAM interview, um, which is document E305-13. Point two three point three eight two uh, had um, some very limited information regarding um, the killings of Vietnamese. Um, the entire questions from his DC CAM interview are, are contained in about half a page of, of the interview. Uh, page thirteen of it. Um, with the new interviews from this witness that were disclosed. Um, uh, there was uh, some significant information on, on the basis of which we have proposed him as a trial witness. Uh, primarily, um, in his OCIJ statements, he indicates uh, that he first-hand witnessed uh, two separate killings of Vietnamese uh, civilians uh, at sea uh, and on an island. Uh, this is in his OCIJ interview E319 slash 23.3.44 answer 25 uh, and describes uh, those executions that he witnessed. And uh, equally significant, uh, he talks about why these killings happened, which is about the reg regiment and battalion commanders in his division received political training, uh, and when they returned, uh, instructed the soldiers that the Vietnamese were considered hereditary enemies, enemy number one, and that there were instructions to shoot and kill not just Vietnamese soldiers, but Vietnamese civilians who were fleeing and trying to escape that country. Uh, so, based on that information, we believe this is a witness who provides a significant evidence uh, proving the existence of policy in the regime uh, to uh, a target and kill uh, Vietnamese, uh, not just soldiers, but Vietnamese civilians. Uh, and for that reason, that is essentially why we propose uh, that this person be called as a trial witness. <laughs> ສາມສັບປະມຸຍຈະປະຕໍຕອນນີ້ອັນເປັນປະດາວິດີການຈຸນຕະກົມສະຫະມິດວິນາມົກລໍານາງດາມດັງກະຣອບລໍານີ້
Mr. President. So, morning, Your Honours. Um, although in itself, I I can understand um, the reasons for the prosecution to have this particular individual uh, testify. Um, there are, of course, also considerable uh, considerable problems in relation to uh, this individual and his uh, testimony. Uh, if, if my recollection is correct, I think this is the first time uh, we speak about um, uh, admitting a witness who has been interviewed not in case four but rather in case three. And it seems that he is a uh, Division 164 cadre. Uh, that brings along the question uh, whether he is um, the only uh, cadre uh, or the only soldier or Navy person within Division 164 who has given such testimony. Um, or whether there are any others um, who describe similar events. Uh, I have no idea, to be honest, at this time, uh, how many soldiers, uh, how many um, Navy personnel from Division 164 have been um, interviewed by the investigators. Uh, so it's very difficult uh, to put this um, WRI of this particular individual uh, in context. Uh, and of course then we arrive at the more uh, principal problem that we have uh, with admitting evidence coming from cases 3 and 4. We do not know, we do not know nobody knows, I think, uh, whether he is an isolated um, uh, witness testifying about this, whether there are other people within his division who have testified to similar uh, instructions. Um, so although I can see the potential relevance of this particular witness, I, we have no uh, means to uh, be able to uh, uh, evaluate or judge the broader context of his testimony. So that is again uh, a very problematic situation and because we cannot do that at this stage, um, I think um, we should not be hearing him um, as a witness uh, within this segment but only um, at a time when the investigation in case 3 is fully um, ended because only then we can understand um, uh, the reliability uh, of his testimony. In addition, um, I would like to remark that it seems that the prosecution is only asking for three out of five WRIs. Um, I'm not sure why that is, um, presumably because the other two WRIs do not speak about uh, alleged killings of Vietnamese. Uh, however, we do think uh, that they might be uh, they, that they potentially are important. So if uh, these statements are uh, admitted and if he is going to be summoned to testify, obviously all his uh, WRIs should be in. Um, and in addition, we also noted that um, um, one of the two DC CAM interviews that was provided um, is available only in Khmer, that is E3 slash 9093. And if this witness is admitted and if his WRIs are admitted, we um, would urge to have that particular DC CAM interview. Uh, be translated um, as soon as possible. Uh, but to summarize, um, we again um, arrive at a, a bigger problem. We do not know how um, this WRI was selected. We do not know if there are exculpatory, um, if there is exculpatory evidence uh, saying things oppose, uh, completely opposing this particular witness. Um, so that's our uh, view at this point. Thank you. Thank you. Bonjour, uh, merci Monsieur le Président. 
Samsung Group le bouton de l'Ossai du Kram, le pépi d'un mois. Je ne surprendrai personne en disant que la défense de Kyo Samson s'oppose sur le principe à la comparaison de ce nouveau témoin. Le principe, c'est que euh, une instruction, normalement, elle se fait à charge et à décharge. Et que c'est une raison, il y a une raison pour laquelle il y a un temps de l'instruction. Il y a une raison pour laquelle euh, les... Euh, mises en examen euh, peuvent faire des demandes d'actes, peuvent faire des demandes de confrontation. Et aujourd'hui, lorsque l'on veut nous euh, faire comparaître un témoin qui vient d'une autre instruction, euh, bah, tous ces droits auxquels, normalement, euh, un mis en examen euh, a droit ne peuvent pas être exercés par euh, l'accusé que s'en pend dans le cadre de l'affaire 02-2. L'opposition est d'autant plus forte qu'il euh, s'agit d'un témoin qui... Euh, a donné des déclarations bien avant la fin de l'instruction 02 de bar 2. Euh, elle est d'autant plus forte également que, comme l'a dit mon confrère, il s'agit d'un témoignage isolé. Alors je comprends que ça intéresse l'accusation, puisqu'a priori, c'est un témoignage à charge. Mais euh, dans le cadre d'une instruction en cours, euh, il va de soi que euh, nous n'avons pas... Euh, le, le contexte général, comme l'a dit mon confrère, et que nous n'avons pas, euh, surtout, la fin euh, d'une instruction complète sur le sujet. Donc, évidemment, si ce témoin euh, venait à comparaître, nous n'aurions pas, euh, du côté de la défense, l'ensemble des éléments pour faire valoir la défense de notre client. Dernier point. Euh, si euh, vous deviez euh, faire venir ce témoin auquel je rappelle que nous nous opposons, euh, il va de soi que l'intégralité de ces déclarations devait, devrait être également communiquée pour avoir l'ensemble des déclarations antérieures. Mais en tout état de cause, euh, 2007, ce témoin est entendu. Il a euh, fait l'objet d'une demande de, de euh, versement en, en preuve d'une de ses déclarations en 2014. La demande est particulièrement tardive. Si euh, les coprocureurs avaient besoin de euh, plus d'informations, plus d'éléments sur ce sujet, ils étaient, on nous l'a suffisamment dit euh, à nous, ils étaient partis à l'instruction. Ils avaient la possibilité d'explorer euh, tous ces sujets euh, pendant le cadre de l'instruction. Aujourd'hui, fin 2015, demander de nouveaux éléments en nous disant que euh, ces éléments sont euh, importants et s'ils n'étaient pas disponibles à l'avance, euh, ça ne correspond pas à la réalité. Cette personne avait entendu si les procureurs avaient euh, voulu avoir plus d'informations sur les éléments qui transparaissaient du euh, DCCAM, ils avaient la possibilité d'en faire la demande dans le cadre de l'instruction 02-2. Encore une fois, l'introduction en preuve de euh, déclarations ou de témoins venant d'autres instructions ne doit pas euh, être euh, une manière détournée de continuer une instruction qui, normalement, dans le procès 02 bar 2, est terminée. ជួនទស្សនៈរបស់ខ្ញុំតាក់ទងកន្លឹងសំណើររបស់សាព្រះញ៉ាដែលសូមបន្ថែមសាក្សីនេះពេលនេះបានបញ្ហាបន្ថែ
đọc bằng tục vinh à vậy để quạt khơi thả miên lẹ nạn xong sau đó quạt rơi bằng hai phao tăng đọc bằng tục trong đồng nạn ca này mình bên đọc đồng nạn ca xạ mà nạn ca hỡi quạt nữ bằng thay phao tăng đạp bằng tục tiện nó tê vì tôi tha tôi này tí rồi bỏ xạ tia nhá coi chi mình trên được coi bao nhiêu thoa đây đối với này phải lơ cô ca này đối xạ mê tv ca pia bàn lược hàng đào thay thà vì dứt pê vì mình bên thất nước nông tập nạ ca mũi đại xã phía nhà trời đạp phó tăng đạp bẩn tục bẩn thay mũi tê chứng phó tăng đại cua xã phía nhà dùng bẩn thay mọc đạp bẩn thay mũi tê ní cua ta chỉ phó tăng đọc bẩn tục mình bên phó tăng đạp bẩn tục này và xung ọc cùng chị lùi chị cầm lô điều phên Chơi chơi thả bình nhà rộng anh trả chiến Let me perhaps Because I have a question Which you might wish to answer It's a question of clarification To the international lawyer For Chris and Pang If I understood Mr. Kope correctly He didn't raise any arguments Based on 87, 3 and 4 But pointed to the general problems With the disclosure but uh, I think Mrs. Gise raised an 87.4 argument by saying it was belated because there had been a previous statement in 2007. Did I get that correctly? Um, Pour préciser ma pensée, Madame le juge Fens, j'indique que la demande à ce stade de faire comparaître un nouveau témoin, parce qu'il s'agit d'un nouveau témoin pour, euh, euh, dans le cadre de ce procès 02 bar 2. Vous m'entendez J'ai l'impression qu'il y a des problèmes ce matin sur... Euh... Vous m'entendez I heard you until you started doing this. <rire> Donc, euh, le, le, le principe, c'est que c'est une, une demande de nouveaux témoins qui n'étaient pas dans le procès 02 bar 2, qui n'étaient pas, euh, a priori, euh, euh, demandés euh, avant cette date, avant la date de la requête des coprocureurs, comme devant comparaître devant cette chambre. Et donc, j'estime que cette demande de comparution est tardive, compte tenu du fait qu'ils avaient largement la possibilité de le faire auparavant. Voilà. Uh, let me respond to these questions. Let me start first with the issue you just raised. Uh, th that was the uh, gist of my initial comments. There, there was a 2007 interview from this witness, uh, but it had very limited information on the Vietnamese. As I said, there's literally half, half a page on that uh, general information, uh, nothing about first-hand information, nothing about instructions on policy. Um, there was simply not enough. Uh, we base our decisions based on the information we have. Uh, once an investigation has started, we do not have the right to go out and do investigations ourselves. Uh, based on the DC CAM interview, uh, it was not sufficient to warrant calling this a trial witness. Based on the new information that is in his OCIJ interviews, it, it, that is the reason that we now believe he is uh, a, a witness that would assist this chamber uh, in uh, determining the truth. It, it's not a question of whether it benefits the defense or benefits the prosecution even. The question is whether it benefits this chamber in, in ascertaining the truth on this issue. Uh, in regard to um, Mr. Kope's uh, point, um, we have, of course, uh, disclosed uh, or, or requested disclosure of any interviews from the Division 164 cadres in case three uh, that uh, give evidence on the subject, uh, including uh, if uh, anything that would be exculpatory. Um, uh, we will continue to do so, obviously. So um, to say he's not in position uh, is incorrect. 
uh, he has uh, any interviews uh, from case three um, um, uh, on the subject. If, of course, this is an ongoing investigation. We've argued this point many times. It's not reasonable for us to wait until the end of these investigations. If there are new witnesses that emerge, they will be disclosed. The defense will have the right, of course, to, to request uh, uh, witnesses that it views helpful to us. So uh, I simply, uh, for, for reasons that we've argued in the past, the, the, I, the principle or idea of waiting until the end of the, uh, of the investigation is simply not reasonable. Um, the defense argued uh, that it would be difficult to, t to test the reliability of this witness's evidence mm -hmm. until the investigation is over. Uh, I disagree. The best way to test the reliability of this witness's evidence is to bring him into court and to have all parties in the chamber question him. Uh, on the other WRIs, just so we're very clear, um, there are five, I believe, in total. Three we request. All, all of them have been disclosed. So there are no undisclosed interviews. Three of them related to this subject, which is why we move those into evidence. And obviously, if, if this witness was called, we would have no objection to the other two, though they tend to be more background and organizational related. But of course, uh, any party would be entitled to, to use those interviews, and they have been disclosed. And, um, there is only one DC CAM interview, um, so there is no DC CAM interview that is not translated. I think what happened is there's two versions of the same interview, uh, same DC CAM interview that were put on the case file. Um, so uh, even though it may look like there's one that's not translated, it's the same, it's the same interview. So, so there is a, a English translation uh, of the DC CAM interview already available. Um, and uh, I think that responds to the defense. That's Thank you. Thank you. សាមសិបមួយដែលបានដាក់សំណើសុំឲ្យអង្គជំរះនឹងស្ដាប់ទៅខៃកម្មសាក្សីបន្ថែមពាក់ព័ន្ធជាមួយនឹងអង្គហេ
បាទអរគុណនៅការរំលឹកលើបញ្ហាមួយនេះ <coughs> ไปไปหรือ 3-2 เอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อ
กรรมาบาลเซิงติดกิจจับได้ปอกยมมันดึงท่าจับปีนาตีจับตะลึกท่าจับจับจับก็แบบบัดครูนไปเตรมนักตกอ thank you MSU witness to help your recollection there are some S21 records that establish the dates on which these cadres were arrested and sent to the S21 security office in Phnom Penh before I get to those records though I wanted to ask you in regards to Taval do you remember Taval's Uh, original name, the name that he used uh, other than his alias uh, Ball. Uh, Mr. President, at this time I'd like to provide to the witness document E3-9646, E3-9646. Ninety-six forty-six. It is an S-21 list of prisoners who entered on the 28th of June, 1977. I'd like to ask him about two of the people on that list who are people he has mentioned. Mr. Witness, this is a record from S-21 of prisoners who entered on uh, a single day, the 28th of June, 1977. Uh, numbers 25 to 48 on the list uh, are cadres from the northwest zone, um, primarily Sector 5, your region. And if you could direct your attention to number 29 on the list, I've uh, highlighted the numbers. You'll find them on the second. Page. Uh, if you look at the second page of the document, uh, number 29 is Oak Hon, alias Val, 39 years old, identified as assistant for dam construction and fertilizer production. And number 34 on the list, uh, numbers down, is On. Mong, a secretary of Prainet Prey uh, District. Uh, does that refresh your recollection, Mr. Witness, that it was in June 1977 that both Taval and Ta Mong uh, were arrested? เราน้องแคบปิ่นแต่นี่คือดะเนาะน้องนี่คือคือชมวมองอ่อนมองไอ้โอ๊กโอ๊กเล่นโอ๊กเล่นมันเล่นอัดคือชมวมวัลมัน You, you need to look at number uh, 29, um, Mr. Witness, and you need to look. There's one column that has his um, family name, uh, Oak Ton, 
and then there's a second a second column that has his alias uh, where you'll see the alias ball uh, so you need to look at two different places uh, on the document um, while you're doing that uh, the, the record indicates that Tabal was uh, about 39 years old in 1977. And that would have made him uh, eight, about eight or nine years older than you. Uh, does that, is that consistent with your recollection, uh, Mr. Witness? Do you remember uh, how much older Tabal was than you? Mr. Witness, do you, do you remember what month it was that the cadres from the southwest zone arrived in your region? Mr. Witness, I can't remember. To tell me, tell us a little bit about those cadres from the West Zone. Um, what did they do when they arrived? Um, did they assume leader, leadership positions like the Southwest cadres, or did they have some other function? <laughs> My question may not have come across right. I'm talking about the West Zone cadres that you just mentioned. Um, the cadres from the West Zone, what can you tell us about um, what they did when they arrived in your region? Uh, did the West Zone cadres assume leadership positions like the Southwest cadres did when they arrived? ពូមភាគបច្ចិមក្នុងនាមមោជីវ័យកណ្ដាលដឹកកូនដឹកប្រពន្ធមោរស់នៅតាម <coughs> In regards to the uh, timing uh, of the uh, arrival of the Southwest Cadres, uh, M, M. Chem who you have identified uh, as uh, a Southwest cadre who replaced Prainet Prey District Secretary Mung. Uh, she has told uh, DC CAM uh, that she arrived in the district before Mung was taken away. Uh, specifically, Your Honors, I'm referring to document E3-5657. E3-5657. Uh, which was a um, March 2007 DC CAM interview of M. Chem at Khmer English 00089773, French 00 
where M. Cham stated, M. Cham quote, Upon my arrival, Ta Mung and Ta At, referring to Mung's deputy, still survived. But after I got the list, both of them were taken away. Um, so M. Cham has said that she uh, was in Prey District before Ta Mung's arrest, which we know was in late. June of 1977. Uh, in, in June 1977, Mr. Witness, were you still working at Trapping Tama Dam, or had you been transferred to the sector fishing unit at that time? During the time you were with the fishing unit, how much time did you spend out uh, at the rivers or areas where the fishing was being conducted by your, by your uh, workers? And how much time did you come back to Trapiang Tama uh, or to the sector or district offices? Can you give us some sense of where you spent your time after you uh, became part of the sector fishing unit? ចំរៀបបានទេខ្ញុំទៅកលែងនេសាតរវាងជូនកាលដប់ថ្ងៃខ្ញុំបានដឹកប្រហោះដឹកត្រីលើងមកអង្គភាពអានធ្វើងថ
He said that now, if you do not believe me, you can look at the list of arrested names. There are only two names not in the arrest list. They are you and Tayuk. And then you said, the rest would be arrested. I saw all the names. Uh, end of quote. Uh, in, in this meeting that you described with Sector Chief Rin, you said that there were only two cadres whose names, sector cadres whose names were not on the list of those to be arrested. Yourself and the person you identified as Ta Yuk. Can you tell us who Ta Yuk តែលោកអត្តរាបានទេថាតើតែយុនឹងជាណាដែរមានជាមួយយុទៅយឺគិតឈ្មោះយឺគិតនៅខាង the, the list that you saw, can you describe it for us a little bit? Was it a typed list? Was it handwritten? Uh, did it have any colored ink on it? Can you describe for us a little bit how, what this list looked like, if you remember? Now you've, you've testified that you were in the sector the fishing unit when, as of June 1977, when these purges began. Um, was the chief of the sector five a fishing unit arrested? Uh, and if so, uh, what can you tell us about uh, his arrest? ធានីសាតមន្ត្រាំលើកទីមួយគឺឈ្មោះជិនนิรสานឯងឲ្យទៅធ្វើប្រធាននីសានកាលដែលខ្ញុំមិនទាន់បានគីរៀបចំនៅក្នុងអង្គភាពនោះគឺឈ្មោះតាក់ឯងនឹង
Tata Hương, uh, Phnom Srok District Secretary Hot, uh, and many more of the local cadres, Northwest cadres who were arrested uh, were sent to S21 in Phnom Penh. Uh, document, Your Honors, document E3531, E3-531 is the OCP S21 list for the Northwest Zone, which identifies over 1,200 people from the Northwest Zone who were arrested and sent to S21, the vast majority between June 1977 and May 1978. My question for you, Mr. Witness, um, were you aware that the sector and district leaders in your region who were being arrested, were you aware they were being sent to Phnom Penh? Mr. Witness, uh, to your knowledge, uh, who had authority to arrest and send cadres to Phnom Penh? Did the leaders of your sector or the Northwest Zone uh, have the right by themselves to send people to a security office in Phnom Penh? During this purge, uh, Mr. Witness, was it only cruel or bad? Northwest cadres who were arrested, uh, or were people were being arrested, whether they were cruel or gentle people. Let me ask you about something you said in your DC CAM interview at E3 in 1994. Uh, this is Khmer ERN 0734104, uh, English 00728694. French zero zero one. I'm sorry. French zero one one two three six five three. You said, and I quote: "I was frightened at that time. If I were called, if we were called, it meant death." And uh, Mr. Witness, had you done anything wrong that made you worry about being arrested? Uh, and if not, can you explain why it was that you were frightened? <coughs> Was it just cadres who were arrested? Uh, or were uh, family members and relatives of the cadres also arrested?
Well, let me ask you a little more about that, Mr. Witness. Did, did you know a person who was the brother of Phnom Srok Secretary Hat, uh, a person named Taman? Um, and can you tell the court what happened to him uh, during uh, the purge of your region? ຊ່ວຍນະກາປິດມັນແມ່ນ <coughs> And what happened to Taman after he came to your fishing unit? Okay. ហើយខ្ញុំទៅរៀនសូត្រពីអ្នកតំបន់ហើយទៅជុំរៀនសូត្រខ្ញុំក៏មកដល់ពាក់កណ្ដាលផ្លូវជិះកង់ Puneri, <laughs> ពាងថ្មខ្ញុំប្រាប់ប្រមាណតែយើងត្រូវគេចាប់ហើយ <coughs> ព្រឹកលើងនាំគ្នាតផឹកទិកតណោតមុននឹងស្លាប់យើងហើយខ្ញុំក៏ជាញ់ជើងឡើងឬឡានទៅតែយុទ្ធាមនិកគេរត់មកគីខ្ញុំចាញ់គេរុញតំបន់បញ្ចូលហើយវត្តវាក៏